Hey guys, Utor100 here. And I figured with Halloween coming up in like 10 days now, well 10 days as I was, I'm uploading this video, October 21st, I don't know what time you guys are really watching this video, or what day you are. But with Halloween coming up in like 10 days from today, I figured I wanted to do something like in honor of Halloween, but I didn't want to do the same thing that I was doing for the last been doing for the last three years where I've been reviewing horror movies. I wanted to do something like wrestling related in honor of Halloween this year. And so that got me thinking about WCW's Halloween Havoc pay-per-views. So I thought about reviewing the like some Halloween Havoc shows, but as I've like looked through Halloween Havoc and I've looked up some reviews for Halloween Havoc, I've Noticed that Halloween Havoc overall really has never been too good. I mean Halloween Havoc really has really never did like do like that that good I mean, Yeah, so yeah, it got me thinking oh well, Maybe I don't really want to review the entire show because I don't want to put myself watching a bunch of bad shows in a row like that but as I was looking through them I've noticed that Every, on some Halloween Havoc shows, they do at least have, like, a one great match on them, at least. I mean, yeah, I've seen, like, there's some, like, Halloween Havoc shows that actually do have, like, a really, really great match, match on the show. So I figured what I would do is I would just, like, go through th these Halloween Havoc shows, and I would just, like, review... Like, the great matches that Halloween Havoc has had. So, yeah, what I'll, I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through just some, like... I'm just going to go over a handful of Halloween Havoc matches that really were, like, some of the best matches of Halloween Havoc. I'm just going to go through, like, a handful of matches. And just, I'm going to, like, just review those individual matches is by themselves, and just, like, talk about them themselves, rather than just really review, like, the act, the full-length shows. You know, I'd rather just, like, watch the one great match instead of, like, having to sit through a bunch of crap on the shows and look th <laughs> just to get to the one great match that is on the Halloween Havoc shows. So that's what I'll be doing in honor of Halloween. I'll look through... St the best Halloween Havoc matches, which, like, the one great match on some of the Halloween Havoc shows. Because, I mean, yeah, every year at Halloween Havoc, that's not the case. Like, like there hasn't been a great match on every Halloween Havoc pay-per-view. But, you know, as I've looked through, I've noticed that there are, like, some of Halloween Havoc pay-per-views that do have, like, a really good to great match on the shows. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll look over the great eight match from the... Select Halloween Havoc pay-per-views, and I'll just review the match alone instead of going into the actual show. Oh, the full-length show, rather. And I'm going to start off with the match from Halloween Havoc 1994, I mean 1993, sorry. Which was the Texas Death Match between Big Van Vader and Cactus Jack. So, before I talk about this match, I guess I'll just... Like, give a little, quick little analysis on Halloween Havoc 1993. So, Halloween Havoc 1993, it was kind of a hit-and-miss show. I mean, there were some good matches on there, but there were, like, some disappointments on the show. Like, you had the Shockmaster, Ice Train, and Charlie Norris versus Harlem Heat and the Equalizer, which sucked. There was Paul Orndorff versus Ricky Steamboat, which was a pretty good match, but it ended on a countout. There was Steven Regal as the British Bulldog for the television championship, which ended in a draw, a time limit draw. There was Dustin Rhodes versus Steve Austin for the United States title, which was good, I guess. The Nasty Boys versus Buff Bagwell and Two Cold Scorpio, it was, uh, it was a uh, so-so match. Sting vs. Sid wasn't very good. That was a pretty big disappointment. And there was the International World Heavyweight Championship match between Rick Rude and Ric Flair, which was a pretty disappointing match, too. And then we get to this match. 
Big Van Vader versus Cactus Jack in a Texas death match. And while this match was really freaking awesome, I mean, yeah, I mean, this match was just pretty brutal, to be honest. Because, I mean, this really wasn't really much of a match as much as it just was, like, a flat-out brawl. I mean, these guys were just beating the holy hell out of each other through this entire match. Now, like I said, this match was, like, went under the name a Texas Death Match, which was kind of a unusual name. Yeah, the basically this match has the premise of a last man standing match where the guys uh, he's had to get back up before the count of 10 and before losing the match, but it also like had some other kind of rules to it which kind of were pretty dumb. Like this match like before you actually began the referee could begin a 10 count, the one person had to pin the other guy, and then there would be a 30 second rest period before the 10 count would start. So that was pretty stupid, to be honest. I mean, why are you even doing a pinfall with the rest period? Why don't you just go straight to the starting the 10 count? So, yeah, that's pretty dumb, to be honest. But the match overall, it was a pretty awesome match. But there are, like, a couple of things that really just didn't make sense about it, because... Vader, or at this point, he was the WCW World Champion, and yet this match wasn't for the WCW World title. I don't see why they couldn't have had this be for the title. I mean, especially since Vader won this match, I mean, what was wrong? Why couldn't they have actually had the title on the line here? So, something about that that didn't make sense. But, I mean, like I said, it was a pretty awesome match. I mean, this was just freaking brutal as hell i mean these guys were just using a bunch of weapons on each other and these guys were really bleeding crazy in this match i mean yeah yeah these guys really took a really big punishment i mean especially like cactus jack i mean cactus jack like like this is just kind of an example of why mick foley has been cemented as the hardcore legend i mean the abuse he takes i mean i can only Imagine how much brutal this match would have been if this had taken place in the ECW. I mean, probably both guys would have maybe got, done everything but die in this match if this was in, in the ECW. Yeah, I mean, all, these guys were using a lot of weapons. There was, like, a steel, a steel chair the guys were both using on each other. Cactus Jack used, like, a fan's camera and nailed Vader with it. Yeah, Vader immediately, like, took off his, like, face mask that he wears. See, I'm, like, right when he came out, he took it off. I, I, I don't know, was this something that Vader did all the time in WCW? Because I'm really not familiar with this time in the WCW very much, or, like, what Vader's run, or Mick Foley's run in the WCW were. Yeah, I'm really not f too familiar with this period in the WCW. The, mo the part where I really... The portion of WCW that I'm more familiar with is, like, when Hulk Hogan came along and, like, during his WCW run. That's the time in the WCW that I'm most familiar with so i'm really not familiar with the wcw at this point but i mean yeah still a really brutal match i mean these guys were just like brawling like in the all around the ring and in the entranceway at one point they were like brawling into like a part of the entranceway that was like set up as some kind of grave or something yeah harley race who was ringside with vader tried to get involved a couple of times but cactus jack took him out Yeah, Cactus Jack was actually, like, getting the, like, several of the first pin attempts in the match. And, yeah, Cactus Jack pinned Vader, like, for the first few times in the match. and But, of course, Vader got up before a count of ten. Yeah. And at one point, like, Vader actually, like, got up on the turnbuckle and actually did a moonsault to Cactus Jack, which was pretty, like, wow. I mean, Vader was, like, a... A 400 plus pound guy, and he was actually like really. He's like maneuverable like that, where he can actually. If. Like do a backflip like that. Uh, despite his weight. I mean, we've seen like. Like guys like Mark Henry, I really don't think could do that. I don't think Big Show could really do that. And I don't think Big Daddy V, Viscera Mabel can really do that, but Vader, well. Pretty impressive that he how maneuverable he really was at his weight. Yeah. And 
points. At a couple of points, it showed that Harley Race had a stun gun with him a couple of times. And yeah. Uh, at one point, like, like, Vader tried to nail Cactus Jack with the chair again, but then Cactus Jack then just gave Vader a DDT onto the chair. And then both guys were down after Cactus Jack pinned Vader. And then, like, as Cactus Jack was trying to get up, then Harley Race then used the stun gun on Cactus Jack, and then that made Cactus Jack just fall back down, and then Vader got back up for the tango, but Cactus Jack didn't. And then, of course, then Vader won the match. So, yeah, like I said, I'm really not sure why they really couldn't have had this for the WCW title. I mean, this really wouldn't have, have even, like, it wouldn't even have meant it. Meant a thing for Vader, like, Vader still would have retained the title if this, if it was on the line here, so what was the problem, why couldn't they have had the title on the line here, so, yeah, whatever, but, yeah, and then afterwards, like, Cactus Jack, I think, then, took out Harley Race some more, and, yeah, but, yeah, this, that was, a, this was a really awesome and brutal match, really, I mean, I would probably give this probably four and a quarter stars out of five, I mean, this was just a freaking awesome match. I mean, this was just brutal and crazy. I mean, I think this would have really fit in the ECW. I mean, just think of how br more brutal this match would have been if it was in the WCW. So, yeah, this is probably, like, one of the best matches in Halloween Havoc history. history. But I really don't know how much that's saying because, like I've said, there's just, like, a handful of matches like this that are really have been really great at Halloween Havoc. So, I'm not really sure how much that's saying. But, yeah, still... I guess it's a positive for this being one of the best matches in Halloween Havoc history, but I really don't know how much that's saying. So, oh well, yeah, like I said, I would give that match four and a quarter stars out of five. I mean, it was just a really, really great match. And yeah, as I said, just really impressive how maneuverable Vader is, and he was able to do that springboard moonsault on the Cactus Jack, and you know, just a bloody, brutal match. I mean, just freaking awesome right here so yeah and yeah i guess i should talk about something else that kind of happened on this pay-per-view since this kind of like involved vader or yeah i was just yeah i was talking about sting versus sid just earlier about it how it wasn't very good but for those i'm not sure how many of you know of this but sid was actually supposed to become a face after this show and then he was supposed to face Vader or at Starcade, but then like there was an incident that I really wasn't aware of but one of my subscribers there's Clark Herman he actually sent sent me a message telling me about this apparently while all WCW was like on the tour in Europe in 1993 when they were in England after like an event they had while Arn Anderson and Sid were in a bar at the hotel. Oh, they were just like getting into an argument about how much the. It's like they weren't drawing as much as other companies were, and it like really turned into a big heated exchange between them. Um, and then like Arn Anderson got a pair of scissors from his hotel. And then, like, he went, had it with Sid, and then he, like, stabbed Sid a few times with the scissors, and then Sid then got a hold of the scissors, and then he stabbed Arn Anderson with a bunch of times in his stomach and face. I mean, wow. And it turned out that Two Cold Scorpio actually was the one that broke it up. So, uh, because, because apparently, like, Two Cold Scorpio could see, like, heard what was going on, and then he saw what happened. Happened and yeah, there was just apparently like blood all over the floor and the walls there. And yeah, like Two Cold Scorpio and a bunch of other guys, I then got around there and then they finally broke up that bat, that brawl that Sid and Arn Anderson were having. And apparently Arn Anderson like lost a, like a pint and a half of blood. So yeah, that's basically like almost a quart of blood right there. I mean, wow. But luckily for Two Cold Scorpio, he saved Arn Anderson from bleeding to death. 
And yeah, that's basically what got Sid fired from the WCW. And so, yeah, I mean, wow, I mean, those guys are just idiots if that's really what that whole thing was about, just from them I'm arguing about them not drawing as much as other companies. I mean, that's what this whole thing's about, like stabbing each other like that. I mean, seriously, they're idiots for doing something as petty as that. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, anyway, yeah, so, yeah, that's just a little interesting thing for you, a little bit of trivia right there, but anyway, yeah, yeah, back to this thing, yeah, as I said, Vader versus Cactus Jack in this Texas death match was still a really awesome match, despite some, like, kind of retarded rules about it, I did, I mean, still, like, good, like, it's still, like, pretty good and entertaining brawling all around, so, yeah, if, if you really like seeing this type, type of violence and brutality in wrestling, yeah, you'll probably enjoy this match, so, yeah, as I said, I give this match four and a quarter out of five, so, yeah, go check this match out, out if you really do like this kind of stuff. Alright, so, yeah, that's all I really have to say about, about Vader versus Cactus Jack at Halloween Havoc 1993, pretty awesome match right here. All right, and so yeah, and so yeah, for the next ten days, I'll just look, do some more of these. I'll just look through of some other or great matches from Halloween Havoc, and I'll make reviews for those matches also. Also, yeah, stay tuned for more of these great matches at Halloween Havoc reviews coming up for the next ten days up to Halloween. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.